In Activity 10, Thick and Thin, students extend the exploration of pitch to the variable of thickness. They first build stringed and percussion instruments to test thickness, and then draw conclusions about the relationship between thickness and pitch. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 10, Paper Plates, Sound Box with Lids, Tongue Depressors, and three widths brown rubber bands. Optionally, you could also provide a stringed instrument, such as a guitar or violin. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 10 for each student. Place the rubber bands into groups of three. Every group should contain one rubber band of each width. For the first part of the activity, each team of two will need one set of three rubber bands and a sound box with a lid. For the second part of the activity, each team of two will need six paper plates and a tongue depressor. You may also want to bring or borrow a stringed instrument, such as a guitar or violin, for demonstration. To begin the activity, divide the class into teams of two. Distribute a set of three rubber bands and a sound box to each team and a copy of Activity Sheet 10 to each student. Ask students, what differences do you notice among the rubber bands? The students should notice that their thickness differs. Define thickness as the distance between two opposite sides of an object. Explain to the students that they will stretch the rubber bands around the sound box. Ask students, do you think the rubber bands will all make the same sound when you pluck them? Have them record their predictions on the activity sheet. Next, instruct the students to stretch the thickest and the thinnest rubber bands around the sound box so they are evenly spaced over the hole in the sound box. Remind students not to snap or play with the rubber bands. Demonstrate how to pluck the rubber bands on the side of the box just beneath the lip of the lid. Have the students pluck the rubber bands and listen to the sounds they produce. Ask, what difference do you notice in the sounds produced by the two rubber bands? The students should notice that the sounds vary in pitch. Have them record their observations on the activity sheet. Next, have the students add the third rubber band between the other two rubber bands so the bands are in order of increasing thickness. Ask students, what do you think will happen to the pitch of the sound as you pluck increasingly thick rubber bands? Have the students record their predictions on the activity sheet. Then, have the students pluck the three rubber bands in order, from the thinnest to the thickest, and record their observations on the activity sheet. The students should hear that the pitch of sound went down as the rubber band thickness increased. Ask students, how would you describe the relationship between the thickness of a rubber band and the pitch of a sound? The students should answer that the thicker the rubber band, the lower the pitch, and the thinner the rubber band, the higher the pitch. Next, give each team of two six paper plates and a tongue depressor. Demonstrate how to hold a plate vertically and hit it with the tongue depressor as though it were a gong. Have the students experiment making sounds by hitting the plates with the tongue depressor. Ask students, how do you think the thickness of the gong will affect the pitch of the sound? Have the students record their predictions on the activity sheet. Next, have them first hold up two plates, then four plates, and then all six plates hitting each set of plates and observing any changes in pitch. Tell the students to record their observations on the activity sheet. Ask students what happened to the pitch of sound from hitting the paper plates as the thickness of your gong was increased. They should hear that the pitch went down. If some students are having difficulty distinguishing one pitch from another, have them first use two paper plates, and then six. Next, have them review their observations and encourage them to look for a pattern. Ask students, what can you conclude about the effect of thickness on pitch? The students should conclude that the thicker a string or other object used to produce a sound, the lower the pitch, and the thinner a string or other object used to produce a sound, the higher the pitch. 
Next, ask them to recall their observations about vibration rate and pitch from earlier activities. Ask students what happens to the vibration rate as the pitch goes up. They should recall that the vibration rate increases. Then, ask students which vibrates faster when plucked, a thick rubber band or a thin rubber band. Why? Explain that a thin rubber band must vibrate faster than a thick one because it produces a higher pitch sound. Finally, summarize by asking students, what two factors do you now know that can be changed to affect the pitch of a sound? The students should understand that both the length and the thickness of a vibrating object will affect pitch. To conclude the activity, have the students remove the rubber bands from the sound boxes and return them along with the paper plates and tongue depressors to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.